everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel for day 6 of Vlogmas. I'm doing something a little bit different. I, I mean, I will still have the ink and uh, Funko unboxing after this bit, but um, today I have a box of Shop Disney. I don't know if you can see the cute Mickey Mouse because I'm trying to hide my address. And uh, I bought a few things on the Black Friday sale. I mean, look how cute this coloring page is. I really feel like their packaging is always on point. I mean, come on, super cute. Um, but yeah, uh, let's just see what I got. I mostly got Halloween things. Fair warning and Nightmare Before Christmas. So there's that. I had to pull the tab open so uh, my cats could play with it. First up is this a super cute shoulder zero. Um, isn't he supposed to be able to sit with a magnet? Because uh, this isn't working like this. Because my Groot has... See, it's supposed to have... Ah, uh, here is the plaque. I was just gonna go. It's supposed to have a plaque. Where is the damn plaque? But it's in here. Probably should have taken scissors out. But I forgot. Just quickly test it. I hope it's a better magnet than my Groot is. Because uh, my Groot's magnet is a bit rubbish. Not sure how well... Oh! No, I'll come to have to take a suspender down. If you hear a cat screaming, that's either Kiwi or Rio. Salam is super light. That seems to be sturdier. Him. I'm gonna leave him like that for the rest of the video. <laughs> and then I have another zero item. It's a cute pin. Let me release it out of its plastic packaging. It's plastic prison! I love him. It says zero, full of spirit, and then play dead in very small lettering. Then I have a mystery key box, also Nightmare Before Christmas theme. And I will be opening this on uh, the final day of Vlogmas. That's kind of why I got it, because there will not be a Funko, because I only have 24 days in my Funko calendar, but I have 25 days in my ink calendar. So I wanted something else to open on day 25. And then my husband said there's also another Nightmare Before Christmas thing that he got me to open. So <laughs> there's that. I mean, there will be Nightmare Before Christmas on the final day on Christmas. And then these are also mystery pins. These are the gingerbread houses one. Um, they're super, super small on here. You can't really see what pins are in there. Um, but... I saw them on the website and then the images were way, way, way bigger. And I tried to find them just so I could insert them in this video, but they took them offline. So I guess they're sold out now, but I remember that there were actually not really pins I wouldn't want to have or couldn't give to friends who collect the character on it. And these were like half off. So I figured like, I'll get it. And I want to open them on Yule, Yule on day 20... Uh, 21 on the 21st. God, I want to open them on the 21st um, of Vlogmas. So that's a bit like extra festive. Then I have this, which is super cute. It's a little Nuimo Haunted Mansion outfit. And at this point, I don't own a Nuimo, but uh, my friend Jess, thank you again. Um, she is getting me um, the Sally one for uh, for Christmas, and 
because I have been trying to find it and my friend Marie, I will link Jess and Marie down below, she has tried to find it in Disneyland Paris, in Disneyland in California, and it has been eluding me. So my friend Jess said, well, I'm just gonna order it for you off the UK sh um, shop Disney website, because she lives in the UK, and I'm gonna send it to you for Christmas. And obviously, I'm sending her stuff as well. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I was ordering and I figured I might just buy it now so um, I can benefit of the free shipping rather than buy it later and don't. But, but I am pretty sure my tiny shoulder Groot will fit in this. So I am going to get him and dress him up and see if I'm right or not. And I am back uh, with a pair of scissors. So I have uh, released port zero from a, from a big paper label. <laughs> And I have also dressed up Groot. As you can see, this fits. If you own this uh, cute little shoulder Groot, um, you could dress him up in Nuimo clothes. I was pretty sure when I got this guy back in June in Disneyland Paris, before they had Nuimos, I will link that, that whole video down below. I was pretty sure I would be able to dress him up in Nuimo clothes. And I'm glad that I was actually right. Um, I didn't have any new, new emo clothes before, so I couldn't test it, but uh, I do now. And as you can see, it works. I'm not going to put it on my, on my shoulder because the magnet is not very strong. Um, I'm going to see, uh, well, my husband's going to see in his magnet stash if he has a stronger one. So he can actually sit on my shoulder like Zero is doing, but I will sit him here so you can see him in the background. Um, yeah. I wouldn't say that Zero's magnet is that amazing, it's better than Groot's, but I think I will get him a stronger one as well, just to be sure. Then I got two ornaments. Um, I remember what I got, I just don't know which box is which. They're always very well packaged, even though it's a lot of waste, but um, it's good to keep if you want to. I did got these open beforehand, I was like, uh-uh. Otherwise, I will be faffing about for a million years. And these guys are the hitchhiking ghosts. We don't have the hitchhiking ghosts like these guys in Phantom Manor, sadly. But I do love him, and hopefully one day uh, I will be able to see them in the Haunted Mansion. straight up in my spooky street. <laughs> then these guys are also going to go straight up in my spook mystery once I've liberated them. These were also on sale. I thought the new price was a little bit much, but the sale price was a okay. Well, they're still more expensive than a lot of other ornaments, but Disney. This is a lock, shock and barrel in their little cage elevator. I mean, how cute are they? They look so happy. They're clearly plotting mischief, probably kidnapping the Santa Claus. Kidnap Mr. Santa Claus? But yeah, I love them so much. I love lock, shock and barrel. They're some of my favorite Nightmare Before Christmas characters. So when I saw this, I had to have it. And now I do. I mean, I didn't have to have it immediately because like I said, I thought the new price was <laughs> Way too expensive. And then I have one more item, which I also got on mega sale. This was originally 25 euros and I got it for seven and a half. So that was a serious discount. Sneaking open the bag. The scientific method, Jack's journal. I think it's an actual book in the movie, but here, 
It's a very pretty paged journal, as you can see. It has Skellington Jack, it has all kinds of potion bottles on top, and other scientific apparatus, and then it has Jack doing his experiments here. I will also insert some pictures so you can properly see. And then his Christmas equation. And the front is just the same without the Disney logo. And then you have, this is a really fun detail, faces of Jack, but they're metal and they're all different. And I will have to insert a picture so you can properly see. I like this a lot. It's really, really cool. Would I have paid 25 euros for it? Probably not. But uh, seven and a half, <gasps> bargain, good show. And the back just says, Disney Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Although Tim Burton didn't really have that much to do with The Nightmare Before Christmas. You should totally watch the documentary about it. Um, the holiday movies that made us, The Nightmare Before Christmas edition on Netflix. It's really cool and uh, actually really an eye-opening uh, eye-opener of how it was developed and how much Burton wasn't actually involved. So um, yeah, I can recommend it because it's also just really really fun documentary really well made and so cool to see how the movie came to be in 1993 the world's very first stop-motion feature-length movie hit the screens and helming this beautiful masterpiece that is tim burton's the nightmare before christmas was director henry Selleck. let's go in fact the singular vision of one creative mastermind was brought to life Eureka! by a ragtag team of highly specialized eyeball misfits. But yeah, um, yeah, this was mostly a spookmas haul. <laughs> but yeah, everybody knows by now that my vlogmas is mostly a spookmas rather than a Christmas. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite thing in my small Shop Disney haul and my Black Friday loot, because come on, who doesn't like a discount, right? Um, yeah, and uh, leave a comment down below. If you do leave a comment, please be kind. I will see you in the next one. Well, first I will see you <laughs> for the rest of Vlogmas. But if you're, uh, if you're, you know, tuning out now, Bye bye. I hope you stick around though for the rest of the video. And just subscribe and stick around for more shenanigans on my channel in general. Okay, I quickly want to say that I take it back when it comes to Zero having a better magnet because I was just taking the photos, to, you know, the intro photos for this video and look. I mean, the second I bend, he falls off. The second I move, he falls off. So. I mean, absolutely 100% would not recommend walking in the parks all day using that magnet. Get a stronger one, otherwise you will lose him. Ah, he is very cute though. I will say that. I will give him that. He's cute. But still, rubbish magnets are rubbish. I mean, poor Groot has the same issue. Really, Disney, get your act together! Also, we do not want really, really huge tags, but that said, get your act together on the shoulder bag, that's okay. <laughs>
It's uh, was there a children's holiday? You put a shoe within it, a, I guess a wish list, and a carrot for his horse. It's been a while, okay, since I uh, I I celebrated Sinterklaas and uh, um, yeah, well, you put it out the, the on the ninth of the fifth before you get to bed, and on the sixth you will have presents and you have. Uh, all sorts of like gingerbread and spiculas and chocolate candy as well, of course. So fun for children. So I just wanted to put that out there. But um, today's ink is winter spice and has a very metallic dark brown um, label. And it says shimmer and sheen. So my, my initial response was to be super enthused because brown but now I'm a little worried but I will be back once it's open. So I have opened my ink, I have my swatch sheet, I have my little ornament art art sheet <laughs> and uh, let's have a look. I'm swatching this initially undiluted because it's a shimmer and sheen. Gonna add a little bit of water just to see. It actually, if I put it um, in my pot of dirty water, it has a very green undertone. Well, I suppose that if you if you want to do like um, some kind of math scientist potion, um, just uh, rinse your brush in your bottle a couple of times. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna get on with it and paint number six undiluted because in my experience by now, the shimmer and sheens, it's just best to go in um, with an undiluted um, ink because otherwise you will see neither shimmer nor sheen properly. And um, I'm curious to see what will happen. Completely against my better judgment, I have decided to load a fountain pen to see how it writes because I'm very intrigued. It seems to have like some kind of purpley blue shimmer. This is a reusable cartridge which you can use to just suck up the ink like so. I'm not entirely sure I have any shimmer because it sinks to the bottom so quickly. Yeah, you just put that in and replace it. As you can see, this is very much the same thing as we saw with uh, day two's garland, where you have to add water to get a different color out because this part is undiluted and this has been diluted with water. So if you want the brown, you have to dilute it. And then um, you can see the same thing here. All the like stars, <laughs> the sketched stars, <laughs> sparkles, 
lol. Um, Daryl, um, with diluted brush or just the last that was still in the pen nib. And, um, yeah, undiluted is just like a kind of green with blue shimmer. So it's not a brown ink at all unless you dilute it, which seems to kind of defeat the purpose because when you dilute it, you get no shimmer and no sheen. So this is for sure more of a writing ink than a painting ink. It's just putting that out there so people are aware of it. But yeah, um, that's it for, uh, what is it? Winter Spice? Yeah, Winter Spice. And so here we are for a very dreary day six. I hope I will be able to do the light well in editing because it's super dark outside. Let's see who we got. And we have Jack in his pajamas with his little book, The Scientific Method. This is the second one we have so far because we also got Jack as a pumpkin king. So <laughs> two Jacks so far, that's fun. I wonder how many there are in total. To conclude day six, first and foremost, a lot less wobbling because I have uh, found another way using a tripod to um, balance my uh, DSLR so it doesn't actually wobble a lot for my conclusions, which I think is an improvement. So first, the Skellington Jack Funko. I think it's fun, it's cute, I'm always amazed at how detailed these guys are because you can really see that it says the scientific method on this little book. That's great. Uh, was I waiting for a Skellington Jack in his pajamas? No, but it's fun. And I will absolutely put this in my spook mystery next year. So, cool beans. As for Winter Spice, I was initially super excited that there was a brown ink, but it is a shimmer and a sheen and it is kind of rubbish for painting. It has this really weird blue sparkle that doesn't really show up. So I'm really not excited about that. However, it is very pretty to write with. But that said, there are already so many brown inks on the market as is. And I already use... Um, Expresso, which is um, of the 150 anniversary range of Diamine. And I also use um, Triple Chocolat. Probably Triple Chocolate, but I call it Triple Chocolat. And um, that's pretty much the same in color. I think it's a bit more on the cold brown spectrum. And this is a little bit more like warm brown. So for me... This is actually a miss. I will keep it to write with because at some point I'm gonna run out of the brown inks I have and then I will finish this guy up. But I wouldn't go and purchase the full-size bottle, I don't think. It will kind of depend on what Diamine has. Well, the, the shop I buy for what is in stock at the time. But yeah, I mean, it's all right, but it's not amazing. But yeah, so that's it for day six. Uh, leave a comment, tell me what you think of this Funko, if this is a kind of ink you would buy. Um, or just leave a comment in general. If you do leave a comment, uh, please be kind. And I will see you tomorrow for day seven.